Now, as I have told you, the objective of the reaction mechanism is to understand or to know that what are the series of the steps a particular reactant will undergo or a particular substrate will undergo to form a product. Basically, through the reaction mechanism, we see that how organic reactions takes place practically. We are carrying out any experiment of any functional group in the laboratory. You are carrying out so certain tests for the functional groups also. So now we will see through the reaction mechanism that how the reactants form the product means in brief if I say suppose we have a reactant let us say A. Now first of all the first step of the reaction mechanism involves is the cleavage of the bonds. Now first of all what will happen is the substrate will have the cleavage of its bond. Now in the substrate we can have two types of bonds. One type of a bond can be polar and one can be non-polar. Let us take an example. If it is an alkane then we can clearly see that in alkane we have only carbons. So when the carbons are linked to other carbons there will be no difference in the electronegativity and hence they are non-polar. So if a compound contains a non-polar bond then it is bound to show it is bound to show substitution reaction that is free radical substitution or we say if suppose we have a non-polar bonds in a compound as in alkanes then they always undergo homolytic cleavage then once the cleavage takes place we have the intermediate or the transition state based upon the type of the reaction we may have a transition state we may have a intermediate in the organic chemistry what we have is we have different types of intermediates as in first we have is carbocation then we have carbon ion third we have is free radical fourth we have is benzene then we have nitrines and so on so once the bonds of the reactants undergo cleavage they form intermediate the next job of ours is to see whether a particular intermediate formed in the reaction is stable or not because the assumption is like unless we have a stable intermediate we cannot have a stable product so the first job of ours in the reactions is to first of all stabilize the intermediate suppose we have an intermediate that is carbocation directly from the substrate now the carbocation formed directly from the substrate let us name it as I1 now this I1 may be stable or may not be stable that all depends upon the type of the reactant now this I1 being formed if it is stable then it will directly form the product if it is not stable then we will see that in a particular compound or the intermediate formed from the substrate can undergo rearrangement or not we carry out the rearrangement in the reactions to stabilize the intermediate sometimes we get an intermediate which is unstable but that intermediate has that tendency to undergo rearrangement so that it forms stable intermediate now once the intermediate is stabilized after that the role of the reagent comes into play then what happens in a reaction is that reagent attacks on the intermediate and forms the product this is the basic overview we can say for the reactions that how basically organic reactions takes place now this is all about the brief overview we have seen about the reaction mechanism in which we have seen 
for what particular type of the reaction what is a substrate or what is a raw material for that particular type of reaction now we will pass on to the haloalkanes and haloarenes first of all we have the haloalkanes in the haloalkanes we will study about its preparation then we will see its physical properties then we will see its chemical reactions now the this the basic objective of the study over here is so first of all know that how can we prepare in a laboratory or industrially haloalkanes then we will see the chemical reactions which a particular haloalkane undergoes after that we will see what are the applications of these haloalkanes or haloarenes this is the objective of the chapter that is to understand the type of the methods of preparation of haloalkanes then we will see the physical and chemical properties now these physical and chemical properties helps us to understand that where can we apply these helps us to understand where can we use these compounds for any process be it a industrial process or a commercial process or a laboratory process coming to first of all the preparations of haloalkanes that is rx now broadly haloalkanes are prepared using four raw materials one raw material is the alkene second raw material is the alkenes third raw material is the alcohols and the fourth raw material is the silver salt of carboxylic acids